Welcome back to Normal Game Couch. Um, we just got done playing Butasan, uh, so if you didn't ch see that, check out the VRD, or if you're looking at this on YouTube, uh, search Normal Game Couch Butasan uh, to check it out. That's B-U-T-A-S-A-N. It was a pretty good, uh, pretty good stream there. It was a really fun game. Um, but right now we're going to play Rygar, which is a game that we've played a lot on Normal Game Couch before. Uh, this is the arcade version of Rygar, of course, which is vastly different and, dare I say, vastly inferior to the uh, NES port, which is uh, typically a very strange thing that the, the NES home version is better than the arcade version. But in the case of Rygar, that is true. Um, I'm half tempted to, to, well, either play it myself or watch a Let's Play of the NES version on YouTube. I'm kind of getting into Let's Plays lately. I'm kind of doing one, one myself with Terraria, uh, in case you're new to the stream and haven't uh, picked up on that yet. Uh, Wednesday, hint, hint. So uh, be sure to check out Wednesday's episode for Terraria. Uh, but I digress. Let's play some Rygar. Legendary Warrior. Last time I played this game on the stream, I did it upside down. Whoa, we're already kind of in here. Okay. Um, I guess it save stated from last time I played. That's okay. Um, here, let's reset here. I want to reset. Which one of these? Which one of these buttons calls your mom to come pick you up? Which one of these resets? This one? No, that's the that's the high score. So this one? Yeah. Credit feed a bit there. Okay. Yeah, anyway, last time I, I did this game on the stream, I uh, I was actually playing it upside down. I wasn't upside down, but the game itself was. Uh, and the reason for that was because it was Payton's Outback Challenge. And I was doing it for Australia Day. Because as we all know... Um, Australians live in an upside-down world. What's weird about playing a game upside-down is, like, it's really hard at first and tricky to get the hang of, but, like, after, like, five minutes, you stop even kind of thinking about the fact that it's upside-down. I, I won't go so far as to say it becomes natural after a while, but, uh, you kind of start to get the hang of it, man. It doesn't it doesn't come natural, but you do start to get the hang of it. I always thought that these transition areas between stages were very odd. They don't really seem to fit. I don't really get what's up with that dude with like the star over his head and stuff. I'm guessing there's some kind of cultural significance there. Uh, I don't know, some Japanese cultural significance maybe or. I don't know, it doesn't really seem... Uh, doesn't really seem Japanese to me. It seems more like Greek or something. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. I'm trying to pick up like these upgrades and whatnot, because I want to upgrade my, my disc armor here eventually. Ah... Uh, This, uh, as of right now, this is the uh, only arcade archives to have been released in the States. Uh, they are releasing uh, Map Mania as well. Um, I'm not really too into that, but I might pick that one up simply because I like, to, I like the idea of supporting them releasing uh, the arca arcade archives in the States. Um, and I don't already have the Japanese version of that, so I guess those two reasons combined uh, might manifest in me uh, buying Map Mania. Which is kind of strange, because I'm really not that into wrestling. I like... Uh, the best thing about wrestling to me is the uh, post and pre-match interviews. Uh, there's a great one of Randy Savage. 
uh, putting, you know, like having like a, apparently an endless supply of coffee creamers and playing on the shtick that he's the cream of the crop. And he keeps generating these coffee creamers out of his pockets and putting them on the interviewer's head and stuff. It was a very strange interview. And as they say, Coke is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Alright, so now I got my disc armor reaching across the whole screen, which is definitely a... Uh... Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> well, it's not reaching across the whole screen now, because I died. But it was good while it lasted. Yep, Macho Man Randy Savage, man. I remember when that dude died a few years back. More than a few, I guess, but... You know, I'll, I'll admit, dude, like, I never got into wrestling, but I kind of, like, passively enjoyed it when I was a kid. But when I was a kid, dude, it was, like... It was way cooler than it is now. Um, I mean, you had, like, you know, The Undertaker, uh, who was, like, every, like, edgy kid's favorite... And then you had, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I'm so bad at sports. I'm so bad at knowing sports. Um, you know, it was the 80s, man. Everybody was into wrestling. Uh, the Hulk. Yeah, the Hulk there. I, I'm kind of, I, I was second guessing my knowledge of that because I'm also watching, uh, the Hulk television show from the 70s on Netflix. So I was kind of second-guessing if I was remembering that correctly. Too many things... What? My disc armor glitched up there. Too many things from the... from the past called the Hulk throwing me off. Making me question my... my mental state. How do we get on this tangent about wrestling anyway? I honestly don't even remember. It seemed to make sense when I was talking about it. Credit feed a little more there. So this game lets you uh, continue from, like if you use up all your lives and you get a game over, it lets you continue from uh, the last stage you were on, um, as long as that stage is pre-stage 22. I think it's 22. It doesn't let you do it uh, after uh, a certain point. Which I guess is good, I guess, because it makes it so that only people who can beat it legitimately can beat it. So. Ah, uh, so I guess that's good. It doesn't let you credit feed the whole game, is what I'm saying. So from here, we'll be able to continue at this stage. I think. Unless I hit the wrong button. Which I very well might have. Normal game couch. Yeah, I think I hit the wrong button. I Okay, yeah, we're starting over from the beginning. That kind of sucks. Let's see how far we can get in like 15 minutes here before I move on to the next game. Guy chasing after me. I'm actually really struggling to try to remember how I got on the wrestling tangent. That was weird. I straight up don't remember. Ah. That's the thing about about doing commentary, though, is it's, it's this whole stream of consciousness thing, and you kind of don't even really think about what you're saying half the time. I, I do have a background in radio, so... Uh, I guess I'm kind of used to that idea. So it's not really too foreign for me to, to do that kind of thing. But, um... 
I guess now that I'm conscious of it, like when you think of it, it gets harder. So I, I think I'm kind of making it harder on myself by acknowledging it, you know? Ugh. Oh, I thought that guy killed me. Will you die? What is the deal with this guy? If you don't make it to the end before a certain amount of time, this dude comes out and, like, insta-kills you. So, I've kind of been dilly-dallying here, so that's probably going to happen. It's this big blue giant dude. Ah! Nice save. Alright. Guess I made it in time. Not bad. It's only round two, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Credit feeds some more. Got an extra life, too. Awesome. I guess I did okay. Hear that... that... that waves coming in, or the water sound effect there. Kind of just sounds like static. Too many of these guys. They need a remake of this game uh, on the PS2, I think. Well, it wasn't really more of a, a remake, but a reboot, right? I never played it. I remember when it came out, though. It seemed pretty cool. Yeah, it was like a reboot of the franchise. It probably had nothing to do with uh, uh, with this game as we know it. It's a beautiful sunset. Get that star. That was a close one. That was a close one. That was too close. <laughs> that one. Ah, oh, God! I don't know if I ever beat that giant blue guy. That guy's rough, man. So we got like a, a couple of Jackie Chans in the background there. I, I don't, I don't know what that, uh, what that's for, man. I don't understand the significance of that. It doesn't really seem to fit with the with the aesthetic of the game as a whole. You got these giant blue monkeys. I mean, this game does have giant blue monkeys in it, so I guess uh, <laughs> talking about like. What makes sense in this game is a fool's errand. Ah! This guy's just out of reach. Not anymore, he's not. Another one! I mean, isn't he su supposed to be like a like a Greek warrior or something, or like like Roman or something? I mean, like not in reality, like you know, like something invented, not like actual mythology, but like something invented for the game. I think I keep hitting the wrong... 
I hit the different but a different button than last time, but I think I screwed it up that time too. Normal game couch. Yeah, well, screwed it up again, man. I don't know what's up with that. I've hit circle one time, it didn't work. I hit X another time, it didn't work. <laughs> I've played this game enough where, like, I shouldn't be making that mistake. You know what I think the problem was? I think the problem was that I reset the game, and now it keeps trying to um, get me to acknowledge that I got a high score. And when it does that, it doesn't let me continue from where I left off. I think that's the problem. Today I learned, do not reset your Arcade Archives games. Even though there's a trophy for that. Yeah, you get a trophy for resetting the game. mind seeing a re-reboot of this game, you know? I mean, I don't think there's enough, uh, enough interest in that kind of thing. I don't think that would get green-lighted anywhere, you know? Too bad. I shouldn't press my luck by saying things like that. No, I'm doing pretty good, and then I die. I, di I didn't that time, but push my luck by by saying that kind of thing. <laughs> I totally landed on top of that guy. I lose my amazing weapon. Had that incredible reach. BS, man. Totally landed on top of that guy. Look at this guy. What, am, what, what do I... How do I even fight this? Do I even fight this guy? or? Hey, I killed him! I don't think I've ever killed that guy before. Cool, man. Blue monkeys.
Will you die already? Thank you. Oh, come on! I was stuck on there! I tried jumping off! I was at the top and like it wouldn't let me jump off. That is BS, man. I like the music between stages. I'm still waiting, dude. I'm still waiting for a proper retro compilation to come out. Like back in, in the previous generation, we had all kinds of stuff like that, dude. Sonic's Ultimate uh, Genesis Collection or whatever it was called. Namco had one. Data East put something out. Like, come on, people. Where is that stuff? Like, you know, I love spending $8 a piece on retro games from Japan as much as the next guy. I guess the next guy happens to be Jeff Gerstman. But come on, let's come out with a proper retro compilation already. And releasing Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X-2 on the same disc doesn't really do it for me as far as retro compilations go. Let's get a bunch of arcade games from the 80s. You know, Midway Arcade Origins or something, like that kind of thing. Let's do that already. I mean, I'm getting... Oh, God. Jumped right off. I'm getting tired of waiting for that, man. I gotta scratch that itch by, like, buying these, these games from the Japanese marketplace there, which I'm happy to do. I'm totally happy to do. <sighs> All right. I just want a proper retro compilation. That's all I want. I mean, come on. We can do that, right? All right. Well, that was Rygar. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to do Crazy Climber next. Uh, it should be noted that Crazy Climber is a game that I have not done uh, on the show before. I have never streamed that game yet, uh, and I'm about to, so be sure to check it out. It's a good one. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks for watching.